Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning about how we can read a Naka airfoil. There are three main ways that Naka airfoil is represented. Um, the first way is the four digit. Sorry, four digit. Um, the second way is the five digit. And I'm thinking you can guess this third one, uh, which is six digit. That is right. Now, these are usually the main ones that we learn, so we're going to learn it today. Um, let's start with the four digit. Um, a typical example is a Naka 2412. Now, each number here represents an important feature of the airfoil. The first number, 2, represents the maximum camber of the airfoil. Well, you might be asking by how much is it just 2? Um, that doesn't make any sense, and you'll be right. It actually has um, a meaning. So two is not just two; it's actually two percent of the chord. Of the chord, I'm just going to write C, um, or we can write it like it's 0 0.02 times C. Maximum camber is 0 0.02 times C. And you might be asking, okay, so what is number four? Well, that's the second number. That talks about the location of the maximum camber. Now I'm putting an acronym like that because I don't want to cover the, I don't want to fill up this whole page. Um, max, um, location of the maximum camber. And you might be asking, okay, so is that 4% of the chord? Not exactly. The second digit actually is 40% of the chord. So it's, this one is a single digit percentile. This one is a um, two, two digit um, percentile. It's just, you know, four times 10 percentile. On the, um, if we want to write it in another way, we can write it, it's 0 0.4 times C. So if we draw an airfoil, um, and we have a chord. Chord is just a straight line connecting the leading edge and the trailing edge. Um, I'm going to change a color to green. I'm going to say this is approximately the middle. This is 0.5C. Um, because our maximum location is 0.4C, it should be about here, that's 0.4C. So this is the location of the maximum camber. Well, I didn't draw this airfoil exactly as 2412, but I just wanted to um, demonstrate how we can find the maximum um, camber. Um, now, lastly, uh, we can talk about these two numbers, 1 and 2. But they're actually not separate, they're together, so it's 12. Um, and what 12 represents is, let me go back to my white um, color. 12 represents is the thickness of the airfoil. So thickness. It's 12% of the airfoil, of the uh, cord of the airfoil. So it's 0 0.12 times C. So if I use this um, airfoil that I already drew, although it's not the best. Um, let me try to get a maybe yellow. Yeah, I'll, I'll use yellow. Um, I'm going to say this is the thickness. This thickness is 0 0.12C. Okay, guys, so let's talk about five digit Naka airfoil. So this one is, uh, you know, there's probably more things to uh, know about because there are five digit, but you might you might not think so uh, like that. So let's choose the arbitrary number. Um, how about something like four six zero one five maybe? I don't know if this is a real Naka airfoil, but we're still going to do it because we're here to learn how to read a Naka airfoil, no matter um, what the numbers are. So the first number, 4, 
This 4 represents the design lift coefficient of the airfoil. But it's not just 4. We have to multiply it by some kind of factor, which is 3 over 2. What this gives us is 6. And our lift coefficient is the tenth of the 6, so that is 0 0.6. So our design lift coefficient is 0 0.6. Um, our second number is 6, but this is actually not just 6, but we count these two numbers, 6, 0. Um, for this, I'll use a yellow color just to differentiate from the num uh, first number. So 60 represents the max location of the maximum camber. Now, again, similar to 4, we have to multiply by some kind of factor. This factor is a bit easier to remember. You just have to multiply it by 1 over 2. It's just a half. So it's 30. Now, location of the camber is um, typically written in reference with the chord. If you, you know, just compare it with the four digit ones. So this one's 0.3C or 30% of C from the leading edge. Okay, what about the last two numbers? Well, it is quite similar to the fourth four digit number. Um, and if you set the thickness, then you'll be right. So 15 represents the thickness. Thickness. Um, and luckily, we don't have to multiply this by a factor. It's just 0.15c. Okay, so as we can see, our NACA 46015 airfoil, um, our uh, design lift coefficient is 0 0.6. Our location of the maximum camber is 30% of the cord from the leading edge. And our thickness is 0.15c, um, aka 15% of the cord length. Now let's go to six digit. Next, let's talk about the six digit Naka airfoils. Usually, the most um, famous one is the six series airfoil. Um, so I will go ahead and probably write six digit Naka airfoil. Um, again, um, I want to be clear, I'm just writing um, arbitrary numbers of NACA. You know, this 6 actually has some meaning because I'm writing a 6 series airfoil. Um, but, you know, I'm just writing these numbers so you guys can just look at any kind of NACA airfoil and just read and understand what kind of airfoil um, it looks like you can imagine in your head. Now, the first number 6 just represents um, the series number. Series number. Um, so it doesn't really mean a lot um, in relations with the feature of an airfoil. You know, if this is 7, it's just series 7. If this is 8, it's series 8. Um, how about the second number? Okay, let me use another color. Um, I'm going to use white. Um, then let's go to four. Four. Now, this talks about the location of minimum pressure. Um, so, the minimum location of the minimum pressure is at 0 0.4 C. It's 40% of the cord from the leading edge. Um, keep in mind that this minimum, um, the location of the minimum pressure, this is when um, the airfoil at, is at the zero lift condition. So if we think about a symmetrical airfoil, um, the angle would be zero. And that's when we measure the minimum pressure and find the location of the minimum pressure. Okay, next, let's talk about three. Uh, I'm going to change the color once more. So three 
talks about the design lift coefficient, just like um, the five-digit ones. Um, in, in, but unlike the five-digit Naga airfoil, we don't have to multiply it by a factor of something. Um, it's just 0 0.3. Simple as that. So I do prefer probably six-digit Naga airfoil over five-digit Naga airfoil because you don't have to memorize these uh, kinds of factor multiplications. Like you got to multiply three over two, you got to multiply by one over two. Um, you know, on six digit, you don't have to multiply by anything. So, all right. So we got this and the last two, just like four digit and five digit, it talks about the thickness of the airfoil. So I'm going to use um, a new color probably and go ahead and write 20 and say thickness is 0 0.2 C thickness okay so we talked about four digit five digit and six digit Naka airfoils um, and I hope you guys um, you know learned something um, if you guys are confused about anything just leave a comment below and I'll try to answer your questions um, and I'll see you guys next time